Hello everybody and welcome back to another episode of Surviving Mars. So now in the last episode we have just launched our rocket to go in this mission over here, which is a uh, launch uh, SETI satellite, uh, which is going to give us 2 billion and uh, whatever currency this is in, dollars I suppose. Yeah, there's a dollar sign there. Yes, it is dollars. And um, we just uh, rec uh, received a milestone uh, as well. So that gives us 250 research. And currently we are researching advanced Martian engines. I really hope this gets researched before the rocket comes back. Let's double check. So the rocket, how long is this going to take? It doesn't tell us here. Um... Well, maybe it will tell us in a little bit. I'm really hoping this gets done before the rocket comes back because this is going to reduce the fuel requirements of our rockets when they are uh, traveling back to Earth. And at the beginning of the game, we definitely need to send the... Well, can't really say rocket since we only have one. Um, the rocket back to Earth a few times. Um to get as many resources at the lower prices because one of our settings let's unpause the game one of our settings is inflation which means the resources will become more expensive over time uh, has anything increased yet? no I think everything is still the same let's see yeah everything is still the base price I believe uh, we also completed the ramp over here which gives us Access now to the lower uh, ground. Ooh. Wow, that was very close. Yikes, that would have been an expensive replacement transport. 200 million. Ooh. That was a very close one. I would like to get the MTSs uh, researched and running as well. Now, I don't remember where they were. Were they in the physics? robotics or engineering i have a feeling they were under the physics one but i might be completely wrong might have to look it up later um but anyways so right now our fuel production is is quite okay actually um well by okay i mean we are producing we're it's it's running and uh, nothing... Um, I don't want to jinx it actually, I'm not going to say it. Um, I would like to have another refinery up and running to double our output, uh, which means we can run... Resources uh, are low. Planetary emissions are a little quicker. Yes, I know it's low. And I really hope we're not going to run out before we manage to send that rocket back to Earth. All oh, right, this takes three souls. Oh, that's gonna be cool. So that means in about nine souls, or ten souls, unless we use the supply pod. Hmm. I think we'll be able to survive. Yeah, they should last us as long as we don't build any additional things. We should be fine. Sector scanned. Anomaly found. Nice, more anomalies. Let's go and grab this over here. And again, I like to um, give the tasks and make sure he comes back as soon as he is done scanning because um, I know myself, I am gonna forget unless I give those tasks right now. Now, what is also nice over here is that there are a whole bunch of resources here 108 metals uh, okay yeah that i know oh, there's another one and another one and another one jesus really hope they're not gonna head towards this area here well we'll see um cool how far 96 percent okay so that's good we are gonna get that researched before this mission is done and that means instead of 80 fuel we will only need 40 to fly back to earth this reminds me we should probably build this here 
to reduce the dust coming from the rocket when it lands and takes off. Now, another thing I don't remember is it does it mean there's no dust coming up now? I think it does. But there's a little bit of dust coming it's still coming up from the from the rocket. Hmm. I don't know. Is the The probe's drill answer. had hit 100 meters before it detected a spike in temperature. The data tells us it was ignited magnesium compounds. Ooh, that is a very good if the anomaly there reduces the cost of robotics techs by 10%. Uh, robotics, this one here. Yeah. Would have been better if it was physics. But oh well. Right, so this is almost done. Um, yeah, but we'll want subsurface heating next. And then we will continue going down this route over here. Good. Now, do we have any planetary missions that would increase our research speed? And this one will be good to call down in case we get more um science anomalies this one we're doing no it seems we don't really have that mission yet research and that will complete probably come once we research the planetary survey right so rockets and shuttles require less fuel now which is amazing that means we already wait did it say by 50 percent or am i just imagining this it doesn't say anything here. I think it was 50%. If that's correct, that means we have enough fuel to send the rocket out straight away. Did it just drive through the... Oh wow, I think it just did. So does that mean... This doesn't really destroy the drones and rovers. Oh, okay, that's good to know. I thought all of them are going to wreck the uh, uh, all those events or those weather disaster thingies are going to either cause them, uh, the rovers to malfunction or or if it's meteors, uh, destroy them. Yeah, meteors are bad. Twisters and, and magnetic storms. Until I have colonies, it, they don't really, I don't really mind them too much. Um, because they will just cause the malfunctions, they don't actually, I think at least, uh, they don't destroy the buildings. Whereas if a meteor lands on top of, let's say, these two drones here, they are done, I believe. And the only way, yeah, then we, then we can only just really salvage them and, and we have to build a new drone. Uh, not drone, Sector the um, rover, which we can't do because we don't have the research for it. So the only option then would be to bring them from Earth. Which again would use up our precious money. That we don't really have a lot. Another sector. A few more resources. Uh, metals. Extra metals are always welcome. Although I do have quite a few banked up over here. Let's see. So he's almost... Don't, no, he's not. There's another 60 there. Um, I would like to start building the ramp here, but I can't because I need those drones working here. That one's filling up soon as well. And we have a lot of fuel. So with the fuel, another thing I do want to do in case meteors or any explosions happen, I like to spread them out a little bit. So if a meteor lands here, it's not going to take out all my resources. So let's do that. We will want 30 in there. Let's put some more actually. One here, 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 maybe here, like this. And in all of these, I will want 30. 
So yeah, just like with any any investment really, you wanna reduce the risk a little bit of losing our whole stockpile. Um, so if we lose one, yes it's painful, but it's less painful than losing um, all of our fuel. And that is a lot smarter way to go about this. And I still have plenty of room there. I know I'm gonna forget this most likely, so I am gonna build two extra ones in here. And I think if I remember correctly from a few days ago, meteors don't destroy the resources unless it's fuel. So everything else should be safe, so I'm okay to put them together. Um, I don't want the fuel on the universal depots over here. Because I think if you have fuel here, then it's going to destroy the either all of the other resources or some of them. I think. Alright, so 80% done, almost there. That is good. And next research, we are 80%, 18%, not 80. And we're almost, yeah. So I think once we're done up here, we're going to start going down. And should I go left or right? Let's go right. Because that was the initial, well, the, um, the starting location that the game oh wait okay that was the initial starting location that the game sort of suggested us to take but we chose to go up there so i'm thinking there might be some more uh, bum, 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 breakthroughs and and uh, anomalies there now this is not good what do we have here explorer you get out of the way and you know what you as well. Just come over here. Oof, okay. We're fine. You can come back. Sector scanned. Nothing in here. I mean, there are resources, but I am really hoping for some more anomalies. And by anomalies, I would like to get the breakthrough anomalies. And lots of them. Pretty please. Right, 93% on the rocket over here, 23 in the research, so that's all good, and I think we can queue up another zone over here. Yeah, I'd like to get the sensor tower boost up, but I don't really know if I'm going to need this electronic. Hmm... Ten percent bonus. Decisions, decisions. Milestone achieved. I think we'll do it. All right, milestone. So we have the satellite. Our very own uh, satellite has been delivered and launched into Martian orbit. Is now operational and will contribute towards the technical mission of finding signs of intelligent life elsewhere in the galaxy. Cool. That means we got two billion and 500 yeah 500 research points as well now the rocket's coming back and we as soon as it lands we will send it back home pretty much right away Twenty, 44% okay I'll be done. No, we're not done. Still have quite a few in there. Plus these ones. I don't think these were in the range, but... Oh, there's our rocket. Land straight away. And as soon as it's landed... Let us... Let's see. Oh. Okay, so it's not a 50% fuel reduction. It was 80 before, and now it's 60, so that's like, what is it, 25%? Um, 
Oh, I was hoping 15% reduction, but oh well, so be it. And we'll send you home. Uh, we'll send you home as soon as you are refueled. Let's focus on getting this one done. There we go. Now you should be able to reach all of those depots over there as well. And I really hope we can get this one researched before we get a gold wave coming in. So what happens with a gold wave? In case, again, in case you haven't um, played this game uh, before, or or you're like me and you haven't played it uh, in a, in a long time. Cold waves mean that everything that isn't heated is gonna require more power, and I think Meteor that was shower incoming. increases it by 300%. So, for example, this moisture vaporator over here, right now it's consuming 5 power, but in a cold wave, I think it goes up to 15. Sector scanned, anomaly found, or something like that. Right. Um, so yeah, once we get the um, next deck uh, research, the subsurface heaters, we can plop one down here. We got this, uh, spare water, uh, but that means we won't struggle with the power. Um, anomaly, where is it? Breakthrough. Amazing. Let's get this one. And again, let's make sure that you come back as soon as you're done. Oof. Oh, so rocket is done, go home. And bring us some... Definitely gonna get machine parts, electronics. And I am thinking another fuel refinery as well. I, if I remember correctly, the fuel refinery was either on their biotech or engineering. But again, I can't really remember where exactly. Now, this will be nice to have, although not a must have. Yeah, we can survive without the extra, extra storage. Uh, let's see what other... Uh, land to Columbus to Mars by Sol 15, we're already Failed on this one, but that is okay. Analyze 30 map anomalies to get another rocket. That will be nice. Nine breakthrough technologies. I think we're gonna buy free supply pods. Yeah, we are gonna queue up these ones next. So we'll go if there are breakthroughs available, we'll do those. Otherwise, we are gonna focus on physics I would say 80% at least um, I think I would like to get what is it called the drone hub it's on the robotics robotics drone hub do we have it here no that is not the drone hub that is not drone hub Okay, we don't see this yet, so maybe I'll research. This one first. Hmm. Or maybe we just do the prefab. Let's see how much is the prefab. 165 million, okay. Right, seems the prices are already starting to go up. The last time I checked, the um, Sterling generator was 400 million. Now it's gone up by 40. Um, yeah, we are going to have to bring those things back quickly. So I'm not going to use the supply pods yet and waste money on it. I'm going to try and research two breakthrough technologies and we'll get five free supply pods. I think it would have been smarter to keep the rocket actually here 
focus on the breakthroughs first. So then we could have used those supply pods to bring in resources. Yeah, that would have been way smarter. So that means we could have used rockets. Really? And those over here? Yeah, breakthrough and research progress. That would have been way nicer. And how long does it take? Oh, it doesn't really tell you how long. Well, that probably means it's it's done in the same soul, I think. Right, uh, let's see. Can we queue additional zones? We can two more, more over here. Discovered. Lake vaporators. Lake pumps are self-sufficient and no longer need to be supplied with water. Nice. That is a very good one as well. I was hoping to have in this playthrough. Um, although, ideally, I would have wanted it to be somewhere in the middle. Um, because we cannot construct lakes yet. But nonetheless, it is still a very good one. Let's see. We do have to... Yeah, we have to research the right technology to be able to build lakes. Uh, what other prefabs do we have? Anything in power? Master. I really want those. So they are in physics. Okay, so that's nice. We are going down this, this one here. Uh, let's see what else. We have nothing in here. Oh, right. So the fuel refinery is in engineering. Okay, good to know. Wait. Oh. It's here. So if we research this. Um, concrete and metals we do have. And plenty. Machine parts. So that would cost us 99 million. Where on uh, the fuel refinery, that's 220 million. So it will be cheaper to research that instead of bringing the prefab. And same with this one if. Yeah. Yeah, I think that's what we're gonna do actually. No more prefabs. We'll bring resources instead. So we can just construct them. Plus the resources will be very useful in case they're... Oh no. Testing fringe technology in a fringe environment is always unpredictable. The rapid increase of cable faults ever since we turned on, uh, on our first turning a generator connected to the grid hints at some cross miscalculation stealing from the fringiness of it all. Uh, our scientists have laid down the research needed to be done to fill the potholes in the original turning generator designs. And until then, keep in mind that cable faults won't appear when turning generators are turned off. Okay, so we have. It's only 700. Ah, uh, yikes, wait. Wait, what's going on? How are we bothered to mend? Wait, so are they not producing... Oh, that's a bummer. They're not producing any power right now. Oh no, they are. Oh, there was just a faulty cable over there. Oof. Jesus. I think I bumped something from the queue here. Yeah, I think I panicked a little bit. <laughs> I thought that there's no normal power at all. Um, can't remember if I had something else in the queue here that was very important. No, I wasn't researching these. None from here. I think it was a breakthrough. You know what? We'll do the stirlings first, then subsurface heating, and then we will go to try farming. Yeah, we'll do it. We'll do it that way. 
All right. So that was seven hundred. So it should be done in about three souls, unless we find another anomaly somewhere. Yeah, we could definitely use more research per soul. That's for sure. Sector scanned. Anomaly, Anomaly. found. Oh, perfect. That was good timing. And then let's bring you back. Wait, wrong button, I think. So, research first. Uh, scan first, I mean. Then shift, right click, and come back. Good. Transport. You're still waiting. Let's see. There are still a few resources here, so why don't you... Oh, so close. Okay. Fine. Bring these first. And bring them back. So machine parts are getting very low. What else required? Oh, okay, so that means two are gonna go now. Polymers, yeah, a little bit more. Let's queue another sector as well. Let's go from here. We'll go around and do this side first. And then this side. And then we'll go up once we... Yeah, I think we'll go up once Research we... Research complete. Anomaly analyzed. Have the ramp. Cool. Pause for a second. So this is researched. Um, so what we wanted to do... Oh, we got two things. We got this one down and the other one. Okay. Breakthrough first. Which one's cheaper? This one. And then we'll go into Sterling. So Sterling's will need polymers and electronics. So let's bring polymers and electronics. So ultimately the issues caused by the Sterling generator turned out to be connectivity problems. After doing extended research on the subject, we not only removed said problems, but we actually increased the power efficiency of our Sterling generators. In fact, Sterling generators produce 25% more power. Now that is amazing. This means Nice, so we... How much are they producing now? 12.5 And if we open them up, that will be 25 Then it's gonna consume polymers and we don't need it since we have extra power in here Nice, I think the next thing, let's see... Subsurface heater uh, Really need that rocket to come back, because if I con construct this now, we won't be able to repair the concrete extractor. Uh, no. Yes. Whew. That was dangerously very, very, very close. Wow. That could have been very painful if it, um, well, not wiped out, but kind of wiped out all the drones as well. Because then we would have had to wait another, what is it, four souls for the rocket to come back. And in the rocket there were no drones, so I would have had to purchase some drones. Yeah, definitely got to pay more attention to those um, twisters. Like this one here. Uh, wait. Did he? He was definitely coming this way. But when he hit the landing pad, it turned away. Does that mean... If I build landing pads, let's say around here, 
No twister. Milestone achieved. Sector scanned. Be able to destroy my buildings. Now that is very interesting find. And I'm definitely gonna. It feels a little cheaty, but I do want to test it out. And since it is my first difficult playthrough, I think we might just exploit that a little bit. If it's an exploit, I don't know. Anyways, another milestone. We have found water. And let me guess, it's nowhere close to us. Yeah. Wait, meteor storm. And you're going back there. Resources are low. Hmm. Two hours. Maybe by the time he gets there. Yeah, by the time he gets there. That meteor storm should be gone. Rocket has just landed. I'm glad I noticed it. So, we don't need probes. We are gonna want. So, for sterling generators, it was 10 polymers and 5 electronics. So. And I can't really remember what it was for the fuel. Maybe it's best if we check this first. So machine parts five, electronics five, and then polymers. Okay, so cargo rocket. That is one refinery. That is one sterling. I want two, maybe three. Then we want some spare. I don't think we need more drones since our drone commander can only control eight right now. I would like to get, you know what? I think we're gonna get one of those as well. Yeah, and we still have a almost a billion left. So yeah, let's do that on pause. And it's gonna take us another three souls until he is back. Uh, cool. So let's have a quick check where we are. Uh, Research-wise, we are doing the breakthrough right now. Reason for that is to get three, five free supply pods. So we don't have to send the rocket, uh, rocket to Earth when we need uh, some resources. At least at the start. Mm. And let's see, scanning wise, we can queue. Oh, well, let's do it over here. Right. So we have three machine parts. Oh, I am. Very much hoping, and I do believe this is enough to run them, the fuel refinery and the concrete extract over here for another, I want to say two or three souls, but that could very much change if a disaster, uh, one of the disasters hits us. Right, okay. I think we're gonna call the episode uh, at this point over here. In the next one, we should be uh, definitely having the rocket come back to us. Um, so in the meanwhile, dust storm approaching. and we'll have the uh, dust storm hitting us as well. So in the meanwhile, I hope you enjoyed and uh, do let me know if you have any suggestions. And uh, we'll we'll see you in the next one.